Hello everyone, this is our unit plan template. And before moving on to the unit plan template, we need to understand what we mean by a unit. Suppose we are talking about NCRT textbook. The textbook, NCRT textbook is basically not divided into units. It only has chapters. So we will consider a chapter as a unit. Okay. So for example, we are talking about the chapter, let's say, reproduction in flowering plants. So when we write the title of the unit, we will write reproduction in flowering plants. Grade or class, it is from class 7. Then length of the unit, length of the, in the length of the unit, we will write the number of pages the chapter is of. Maybe 5 page or 7 page or 8 page or whatever it is. Next is title or publisher of the textbook. If the book, if the uh, whatever book you are dealing with, if it has a, a title, proper title, then we will write that or we can simply write science textbook for class 7. Then author, author will be NCERT. If you are using a different book, then you can write the author accordingly. Then comes major learning points to be covered. We know how to write learning points. We have seen that in lesson plan. So learning, I, I am explaining again, learning points are nothing but simple statements or phrases that highlight the major concepts before moving any deeper into the template of the unit plan i will show you a simple example of unit plan which will help you to understand this better yes so this is our sample unit plan which will give you a rough idea of how you can prepare one so at the very top you can see we have written the title of the unit then comes the class level which is six then length of the unit Then we have simply mentioned the title or publisher of the textbook as NCERT because it is by NCERT, the book was by NCERT so there is no other author. Okay. In the major learning points, we have written the main points or the major concepts that are there in the chapter and then in the overall goals of the unit, we have written all the points, all the goals that the students must attain at the end of the chapter or the unit for example students recall the mode of transport students cite examples for different modes of transport please remember that do not write will students will recall students will cite we should not write that we will always write it in present tense students recall students cite students define students analyze okay so we will have to write in overall goals we will have to write all those things that the students must attain at the end of or at the completion of the chapter or the unit okay now another thing that we must remember is that the keywords the action verbs here like recall cite define analyze adapt all these things are taken again from bloom's taxonomy these are action verbs these keywords are always taken from bloom's taxonomy for division of unit to lessons, we need to mention the number of periods required to finish or to complete the particular unit. For that, we have divided the unit into major topics and we will write the number of periods that are required to complete each major topic. Right? For example, here I have written story of transport will take one period. Units of measure measurement will take another period motion and its types will take one period so in total three periods will be required to complete the total unit if your lesson takes if your unit takes seven periods then you will mention accordingly that which major topic will require how many periods and lastly in the rational we have mentioned that according to difficulty and content length the teacher has fixed three numbers of periods for a particular unit you can write five periods you can write seven periods whatever your requirement is now once that is done we will move on to draw our table in the table we can see we have lesson wise activity then process or strategies to be adopted then learning resources and finally assessment practices proposed again we will move on to the sample unit plan to understand this better so here is our sample lesson plan or unit plan in the topic wise activities 
so here we are going to write the activity that we are going to use for a particular topic we will mention the topic at the very top and then we will write the activity that we are going to employ to explain or to understand that topic okay next will be the process that is being employed it can be anything activity method dis discussion method demonstration method experimentation method anything then our learning resource whatever we are going to use in the class for that particular activity and then assessment practice how we will assess the understanding of the students of that particular topic so this one thing will be for one topic for the next topic we will again write all the same things the, the activity that we are going to perform the strategies that are going to be used the resources that are going to be used and the assessment tools that are going to be used previously we have seen that i have divided this particular chapter into three lessons so here see in the unit plan in this table i have made three major points or the three major concepts and accordingly i have written all the activities required or the resources required we will end our unit plan with proper remarks here i have written the unit is designed in a very systematic and planned way for easy understanding of the students you can write whatever you like about the unit or whatever you think that must be added to the unit so that's all for our unit plan thank you